Hi, welcome to the channel. My name is Richard and I'm the Bull Rider. And today you're gonna to learn everything you need to know on what diagnostic scanners work with the Lamborghini Gallardo. And this is a really important question because if something small goes wrong on this car, you wanna be able to diagnose it and maybe even fix it yourself without having to spend a couple hours going to the dealership and having them diagnose it for you. And another critically important thing to know is which scanners work with the e-gear system. And if you do have a Lamborghini Gallardo or you're thinking about buying one, the most important question you have to ask yourself is, which scanners work to reset the e-gear clutch? Because this is a critically important question because at some point or another, you're gonna have to replace the clutch in this car. And if you have an e-gear car, you're gonna have to know how to reset the adaptation values after you put that new clutch in or you're gonna burn it out right away. So the first half of this video is gonna discuss the pre-LP Lamborghini Gallardo from 2004 to 2008. And the second half of this video is gonna discuss the LP Lamborghini Gallardo from 2009 to 2014, because there is a huge distinctive difference between the two and what scanners you can use. And by the end of this video, you'll have a very good understanding of which scanners on the market work best for the car that you're considering purchasing or you have already. So the single most important diagnostic scanner that you need to have at all times in your car, no matter what, is one of these cheap generic OBD2 scanners that are either Bluetooth or Wi-Fi. I've had this one for about 10 years and it's never let me down on any car. A Kia, a Audi, a Lamborghini, no matter what, it's always worked. So let's say hypothetically you disconnect the temperature sensor on the engine oil tank. If you turn on the ignition with the oil tank off, it's gonna throw a code and it's gonna be stored in your ECU. And the only way to clear this is to go to the Lamborghini dealership and have them do it for you or just get one of these cheap little boxes. But therein lies the limitation of this generic OBD2 scanner. It can't scan any of the other control units in the car. It can't scan the transmission control unit or perform adaptations on the transmission control unit or anything like that. And when you pull up codes in this OBD2 scanner, they're actually different than any other model of car. So I'm gonna save that for another video and we're gonna go into full detail on what these codes actually mean once you scan your car with this scanner. The next program I wanna tell you about for the pre-LP is called VCDS. And to be honest with you, on the pre-LP, you can't really do much whatsoever. Some people have reported that you can make your own adapter for the connector underneath the dash and maybe connect to the radio inside of your Lamborghini. But other than that, you're pretty limited. So the next thing I want to tell you about is a system called Texas Supercar. And this nets about $5,000 to $7,000. And it can read, diagnose, scan, clear, and perform adaptations on every single control module inside of the car. And it's probably the best diagnostic tool that you can get for your pre-LP Lamborghini Gallardo. But that's quite a price jump, but here's my logic behind it. So let's say you wanna put a new clutch in your Gallardo. You can go to the dealership and they might charge you about $10,000 to do the clutch. But if you do it yourself, you can get the clutch components for maybe three to $5,000. And then you'll have another $5,000 left over for Texas Supercar. And at the end of the day, you'll have Texas Supercar and you'll have a brand new clutch in your Lamborghini Gallardo, and you'll pretty much be set for life. And when I replace the clutch on my car, that's exactly what I'm gonna be doing. There's other diagnostic softwares out there specifically designed for Lamborghini and exotic cars, one of them being Leonardo, and that's a very expensive um, aftermarket support solution. That's about $20,000. But comparative to Texa, it does all the exact same stuff, and I would say just save your money. And the last option is something called Lara 6.0 which is basically the proprietary Lamborghini diagnostic software. And I can't even recommend trying to find this diagnostic system because most of the time you'll have to buy it used from a dealership that went out of business, for example. And most of the time it's these ancient laptops, ancient cables and proprietary scanning equipment that you need to actually make it work properly. There are some websites that do sell Lara at a very cheap price but you have to keep in mind that you need all the proprietary cables and special equipment to actually scan your car. So I really can't recommend it, and it's not officially supported by Lamborghini. And in reality, I don't see any other option other than Texas Supercar. And you might think, okay, five to $7,000 is quite a lot of money, but you know, it is a Lamborghini and you do have to pay to play, and you are working on a very rare piece of automotive history at the end of the day. So what about the LP Lamborghini Gallardo from 2009 to 2014? And to be honest with you, you are in for quite the treat because the LP Lamborghini Gallardo has so much more Audi influence comparative to the pre-LP Lamborghini Gallardo. But first off, I'm still gonna recommend that you pick up one of these generic OBD2 scanners and keep it in your car at all times if you have an LP Gallardo. My second recommendation is going to be VCDS with Hexnet. And since the LP Lamborghini Gallardo has a little bit more Audi influence, you can actually scan 
and read and perform adaptations on a lot more control modules than you can with the pre-LP Lamborghini Gallardo. And with VCDS, with HexNet, most importantly on the LP Lamborghini Gallardo, you can actually scan the transmission control unit. And you can, with a little bit of finagling, a little bit of math, a little bit of numbers, you can figure out what your, what your clutch wear index is to determine how much your clutch is worn down. And you can perform a clutch adaptation when you put a new clutch in. So for about 500 bucks, that is a total win-win and go you for having an LP Lamborghini Gallardo because to be honest with you, I'm a little bit jealous that you can do that. But VCDS is a little bit of an archaic platform. The user interface is a little bit older. It's not that intuitive and you need to do a lot of research to determine what you're actually doing and to connect to a lot of the control modules in the car. And also the amount of control modules that you can connect to is very limited. The Audi R8 and the LP Lamborghini Gallardo share so many components that although it's not officially supported by VCDS, you can still connect to all these control modules in the car and successfully diagnose and perform adaptations on them. And just like the pre-LP Lamborghini Gallardo, the LP Lamborghini Gallardo is also perfect with Texas Supercar and it has the same amount of functionality that you have with the pre-LP Lamborghini Gallardo and it's the same price. So if you have Texas Supercar, you can work on a pre-LP or you can work on an LP Lamborghini Gallardo and perform any of the scanning functions that you need to whatsoever. And then going up in price, just like the pre-LP, we have Leonardo and then we have Lamborghini Lara software. And if you have an LP Gallardo, I'm just gonna say save your money and get VCDS with HexNet because the most important thing to do on this car is to do a clutch adaptation. And if you can do that with a little bit of finagling and you feel comfortable with the software, I can't recommend anything else. So it doesn't matter if you have a pre-LP or an LP Lamborghini Gallardo, I can't recommend enough picking up one of these generic OBD2 scanners. It's gonna save you so much heartache in the end of the day. And I recommend you have one in every single car because you never know when you're gonna get an engine code. And if you have an LP Gallardo, you are in so much luck because with VCDS, you can scan and perform an adaptation on the clutch after you replace it and save yourself a trip to the dealership for a pretty decent price. And that's really where the problem is. Do you want a pre-LP Lamborghini Gardo that is so originally Lamborghini with the original even fire five liter V10 that sounds like a Formula One car going through a tunnel? Or do you want easier to diagnose LP Lamborghini Gallardo, where you can actually get away with performing some of these diagnostic functions for a relatively low price. That's gonna be a tough decision for you. And it's gonna take a lot of soul searching to determine what you're actually looking for in a supercar. But for me, if I need to buy a Texas supercar and I get to keep my pre-LP Lamborghini Gallardo Superleggera, I'll do that any day of the week. And if you like this video, please consider giving it a like. And until next time, thanks.